Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Sorry last video's video wasn't funny. It might have been a little bit passionate there. So uh, today, today's gonna be funny. Today's gonna be a funny day. Something I wanted to try out doing is reacting to subreddits because I find the funniest stuff on Reddit. I don't know about you, but when I discovered subreddit, I laughed for 10 days straight, 240 hours. That actually might be a world record, but a subreddit I've recently seen is called, Are the Straits Okay? And you know, I did see several YouTubers make videos about this, so just wanted to give them a little more credit because they found it before I did. What a dick move that would be. You know, I ended up Googling what this subreddit was because I didn't actually understand what that meant. Like, yeah, of course straight people are okay. They're straight. They're not, there's no issues there, right? But apparently there is. So without further ado, let's check up on the straights. Let's see how they're doing. So first up, we have this YouTube video, right? And it's called Star Wars Squadrons Introduces Pronouns for Characters. I'm sorry if you watched Star Wars. That was the, <laughs> that was the... <laughs> First thing that came into my head, I'm sorry, that was rude. So somebody commented because this video is about pronouns, right? And they said, I still haven't met anybody that uses pronouns. Reason is because I live in the real world. Oh, really? So when you go out to the store, how do you refer to somebody? What do you use, a sound effect? Man up, buddy. We don't use pronouns in 7-Eleven. We live in the real world. We call each other, hmm, and ha. There's no she, he, her, him. They, them. It's just sound effects. I just found this on Instagram. When he is cute, funny, sweet, smart, has a good job, texts back fast, and has no hoes. You short, aren't you? Or maybe he's just a cool person regardless of his height. I'll never understand the stigma of women hating men for being short. It's just bad taste. I mean, as a tall guy, I can't really understand what it's like to be rejected by women, you know, because I'm a short little shrimpy baby. But at the end of the day, they're still just as cool as tall guys. We're just, I mean, the short guys, they're just, they're just short. I'm, I'm not tall at all. Nobody knows how tall I am. So that's a surprise. If you see me in person, you, I could be six feet. I could be five feet. Surprise. Maybe one day you'll see me in CVS. <laughs> no, but I mean, why do women hate straight men so much? I mean, <laughs> I meant short men. <laughs> I mean, I can see why by these posts. What? <sighs> just forget it. Just forget it. I was going to make a joke and I'm, forget it. Study. Women need more sleep than men because they use their brains more. All that overthinking and jumping to conclusions. Ha ha ha. Women having emotions and overthinking. Get it, fellas? It's always, why don't you do the dishes? Or why aren't you vacuuming? Give me a break. Stop being over emotional. Here we have one of the most deadly animals in the world, known for being extremely aggressive, territorial, and toxic. Oh. And there's also a copperhead. Good old misleading post, right? So so the girl in the picture is aggressive and toxic. You know, women, right? Am I right? Gotta hate the women. And then there's also a snake in the photo. So you were assuming that they would have said that about the snake, right? But no, they didn't. It was actually about the woman. Uh, misogyny is always a very funny joke, right? So funny. Best jokes you could ever tell. So this post right here is actually my favorite one out of all of them. It looks like now they're using pedophilia as their next attack on the LGBTQ plus community. Then we've got this great photo set of baby clothes. Straight people gaze force their sexuality onto their children. And then you've got straight people. A shirt that says, I heart boobies on a little baby. Lock up your daughters, ladies man. And I need a woman who can handle my load. I mean, that last one is... <laughs> That last one is very weird. I just think this is so ironic because if any of these shirts said like, ladies, lady, and they put it on a little girl, all hell would break loose. But if you put ladies, man, oh, it's cool. Yeah, my two-year-old's wearing ladies, man, but it's cool. Yeah, I'm not pushing sexuality on my kid at all. Oh, but having a gay dad on a cartoon is definitely influencing the kids, right? They're making our children gay and trans. Do your wives slash girlfriends have you go out for their feminine items? Diet soda? <laughs> Oh, uh, this is not what it looks like. I was I was actually opening this for my girlfriend. She's right over there. Say hi. Yeah, no, I I actually I was just I was just reading this label. Um, I was actually on my way to go grab a giant Coca Cola, a big one, a big one with seventy grams of sugar, with caffeine because if you don't have sugar and caffeine, you are a little bitch. <laughs> so, I'm gonna I'm gonna head out now. Because helpful men only exist in fiction. <laughs> Am I right, ladies? Look at these romance novels. I'll clean the bathroom. Vacuuming without being asked. Go have fun. I'll watch the kids. The laundry folder. You know, I feel really bad for women who are married to men like this. It's like being married to a toddler, actually. Because toddlers can't do anything, right? They can't do laundry. 
They can't do dishes. I mean, a, a grown person can. They just choose not to. Maybe they identify as a toddler. Maybe you ended up marrying a toddler. Fellas, is it gay to be considerate of others, right? You've got Joe Biden here. He posted, wear a mask. And then Tommy Laren, might as well carry a purse with that mask, Joe. <laughs> yeah, Joe, why don't you pack it up, you woman? You're such a woman for wearing something that protects you. Yeah, Joe, grab your purse. Why don't you put on a wig while you're at it? Why don't you put on some high heels like every other man in 2020? They're all transgender anyways. So wearing a mask automatically makes you a lady. Congratulations to everybody that wanted to transition into one. Put a mask on. Watch what happens. They are truly a different breed. Mother and daughter crime fighting duo in New Zealand. Fuck the police, am I right? Haha, <laughs> yeah. This is the only acceptable answer, bro. Fuck the police, am I right? I'll go speed and get a ticket on purpose. Cause fuck the police. Here we go again with another weird post. And from that point on, little Mikey knew he loved Halloween. Oh, would you look at that? Straight people are sexualizing little babies again. Is it is it the the gay and trans characters on TV? Or is it the parents posting this though? So this one's a lot, alright? You better buckle in for this one, especially if you're a woman, because it's it's not good. Apparently, it's women's fault that they are sexualized, okay? It's your fault. It is your fault. Women make a fuss about being sexually objectified, but really, women are the ones who actively sexualize themselves. Women, especially feminists, always scream and make a fuss about women being objectified sexually, but fail to see that it's women making the choice themselves, no one else. Obviously, in some cases, it is at the hand of somebody else. It's always women who are on social media, such as TikTok, half-naked, dancing in order to show their boobs bouncing and ass bouncing and their body. <laughs> you th <laughs> Does this guy know that like when you make a movement and there's some fat on your body, it'll, it'll jiggle a little bit, you know? Like, even if, I mean, even if you don't have fat on your body, you get a little bit of jiggle if you dance. Isn't that what happens when you dance? You're jiggling around. Or making videos about how they love sex and being sexual. Or in fact, any video, they try to be as sexy as possible. Even Instagram is full of it. They sell themselves out without financial gain. TikTok is cringy as hell. Sadly, it's crap is shared all over the social media platforms. It's women who flock to such websites as OnlyFans in order to sell themselves and their bodies for financial gain. The amount of Instagram pages I see who link their OnlyFans and 99% are women. Women are making OnlyFans to profit off of stupid men. I mean, mostly, most of the time. Because they will get paid for posting explicit content. I mean, come on, an extra $2,000 a month? Why not? Uh, maybe an extra 10,000, maybe an extra 20,000. Some people make 50 grand a month on OnlyFans. So, I mean, who's really losing? Is it you or is it the woman? Women can't sleep apparently ladies when you sleep like this it means i want the pipe question mark no it means they're sleeping my initial thought is why can't women do anything without being sexualized so the guy from the previous post right he would look at this and he would be like see women are just trying to be sexualized and it's, it would just be like a woman trying to sleep on her stomach you know it might as well start an only fans if you're gonna sleep on your stomach like that you whore i support lgbtq liberty guns bible trump bbq what? You support the LGBT B? Were they that dumb that they couldn't think of a different Q word? They could have used the word quad. She's also a Trump supporter, dot dot. Good night to all the boys who drive trucks. To the rest of you. Sweet dreams, princess. Why does this have over 90,000 likes? Alright, so what if he's like 17 or 18? What is he supposed to do with a truck? Carry his dad's carpentry wood? Okay, oh, oh wow. Here comes Chad with a giant truck for his for his dad's wood. <laughs> no, not. So what happens if a man drives up to you in a Lambo? What are you gonna do then? Are you gonna be like, ugh, ew, you're not driving a truck, you're driving a Lambo? Ugh, princess, you little princess with your Lambo. Disgusting, I like men who drive big trucks with wood in the back. <laughs> so this is more than a tin of coffee. It's an expression of identity. Are those gender signs? I've actually never seen those signs before. You know, nothing says profiting off the marginalized like this coffee. If you're a grown man and you wear a seatbelt in the passenger seat, you are like to be a raging homosexual. So with that logic, if a gay person sits in the passenger seat and they don't put on a seatbelt, will they be cured of their awful sin? Hey, it's just something to think about next time you guys get in the passenger seat. J I'm joking. I know you're not that stupid and you're not going to go do that, but uh, wear a seatbelt, please. And if you don't, please do it. If your husband does not vote Republican, you're in a lesbian ship.
You're married to a puss. What man wants someone else providing for his home? What man wants someone else raising their child? That's your girlfriend. So go get you a real man, sis. Hashtag date, marry, and better Republican. Okay, lesbianship? Is that even- Please, lesbians in the chat, do you use this term? Lesbianship? Since when does having a certain political stance dictate your sexuality or gender? There's a t-shirt, and it says, My favorite Disney villain is my wife. You know, how much more can you possibly do to show your wife that you do not like her? I was sitting here, and I was like, Wow, do people actually buy this shirt? So I googled it. <laughs> And they wear the shirt to Disney with their significant other or their family. And people love it. <laughs> you know, here we've got a beautiful family. This is my husband wore this for our day at Disney Springs. You know, I guess I can't expect much from somebody who goes to Disney during a pandemic. A head turner. Lots of laughs too. We absolutely loved it. Everyone had a fit over our shirts. So great. I mean, I, they did go to Disney during coronavirus, so I don't have anything else to make fun of them for. Th that, that's the type of person who would wear that shirt. <laughs> and to top off the ending of this video, I have a tremendously beautiful wedding post. It's fantastic. It's like one that I've never seen before, ever. We've got a MAGA-themed wedding pays tribute to Trump. How empty is your life when you make your wedding about another man? Imagine dedicating your whole day, your whole day, that you probably paid tens of thousands of dollars to plan, centered around a political party. Any particular reason she has a gun for one of the pictures? Like, is, like, is that what she's gonna do instead of throwing, you know how the, they throw that thing from their leg? I forget what that's called. <laughs> what is that called? Thing they throw from leg. I found it, it's called a tossing garter. So if, so instead of throwing a tossing garter, like does she, does she shoot one out? I, I, that's my guess. In conclusion, I'm gonna have to go with the straights are not okay, <laughs> ever. Hey, yeah, but with all that being said, let me know if you guys did enjoy this video. I would like to look at some more subreddits, and if you hated it, hey, just let me know. I won't ever do it again, all right? I'll see you guys next week with a new video.